Cambridge, we had to create events on Squarespace and then set up events. So the first thing you need to do is um, create a page where all the events will be. So go to website pages. We're gonna put it under not linked so it doesn't show up right off the bat. And we are going to go to events. Just choose one. And then you can retitle it. This will also determine what the URL is. So we'll say classes, enter. And it's gonna automatically pull um, some events. So if you want, you can either edit these or you can add a new event. So we'll come back to this. And now we're gonna add a new store page and make it a service. So click plus again, store. Um, and I'll deal with design later. So we're just gonna do this. Uh, and let's click on that. And like I said, we're going to be creating a service, not a product. So these are workshops, so go to the plus and click service. This is great if you like our dance company and need dance classes or whatever. So let's say um, we have ballet class adults. You would of course add a description. Add an image. If you don't have any images like from the library, and you can use um, or sorry, you can use their Squarespace's images through Unsplash. And then this is where we're going to set the price. So let's say it's a $20 class and the stock. If you have a certain amount of people that can attend, make sure you toggle this over so it's not unlimited and then put how many people can attend the class. If there can be as many people, you can keep it as unlimited. All right, so we need to add variants if you have classes on like multiple different days. So let's go to add. And we're going to custom go date. And this is where you can put June 1st, enter June 7th, or whatever it is, 14th, and then save it. So now they're able to select the date they want to go if that's relevant for you. If you want to add categories, you can, especially if you have like ballet classes and salsa classes and things like that. And then um, I'm not going to do anything up like that. This is all good to go. If you want to change like the, the form or the button, you can do that. But I'm just going to save it or I'm going to publish it actually. So now we have this event. Again, make sure that you put an image. I didn't. So let's go back to our events page we created now. I titled it classes and we will click the plus and you can use the same description that you already you know created so okay. class. this will have be the date and the time of course so save that and then this is similar to if you have done like blog posts, it's very similar to that. So edit section. This is where you can change like the section height or you can change the color, so on and so forth. And then right here, you'll write the description that you wrote. This is for 21 plus. That's gonna automatically pull. And then where this plus is right here, you're gonna select, select that and do product. And you'll search for the product. And then here is where it has it. And then make sure you come over to design. Um, again, I didn't put an image, but have an image, title, price, great. Um, you can have the description if you want, and then add to cart button. And if you have your website set up with like a menu at the top and a little cart button, when they click it on here, it'll show up there. And then we're going to, of course, make sure to publish it. 
And if you want the events to be in your menu, when you click the back button for website, you can just drag the events up here and it'll go into your menu up here. I'll link a blog about how to create a calendar on Squarespace, um, but really briefly, if you want it on your, let's say about page, all you would do is just go to the page, click edit, go to the section where you want the calendar that shows these events. And then, so let's say we want it in this section. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit, give us a little bit more space, add a block. And then you're just gonna add a calendar block. Drag it where you want it. And then you need to link the events page you created. So double click it and we will link the classes. So there you have it. I, if you are interested in learning more about how to DIY your Squarespace website and make it so that it actually converts in one week, I have a free training below. I will link it for you. And let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to help you on this journey.